minus 5 Celsius, about 23 Fahrenheit. Snow's died down a lot. We're only getting like trace amounts, and I think we're only supposed to get trace amounts for the rest of the day. So one thing I want to do, like tomorrow I want to go to town to do my usual supply run. But I think what I should do this afternoon is run the trail with the ATV. Just make sure I can make it. And depending on how that goes, then I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll bring my tire plow. I'll go back with my tire plow and see if I can plow it a little bit. A good time to do it. You don't want to do it when, you don't want to wait until the snow is like hardened or like frozen. There have been a thaw and then a freeze. And, or it just gets heavy and wet. Right now it's nice and fluffy. So yeah, this is the time to do it. Should be interesting. You can't even tell that I shoveled this earlier or we walked through this earlier. Like, where's my footsteps? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you know what else I gotta do? Ooh. Look at the soot that's come off the, uh, the chimney. Yep, yeah, that's what I gotta do. Might as well do that now, actually. That's a huge buildup. That has never happened before. That was crazy. From out there, I thought it was coming all down on me. Probably shouldn't leave it like that, right? It's nice and fluffy. It's going to come right down. Here, you watch. Here's what kind of idiot I am. With all these trees down here that I haven't cleaned up yet, the only way to get the ATV over here is through this spot right here, where I just pulled tons of snow off the roof. <sighs> snow is now like three feet deep here. Uh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Damn it.
of the cabin. I didn't even go a quarter of the way. And I wasn't filming a whole lot because you got to kind of keep your speed up. But I decided to come back because of Willow. She was exhausting herself breaking trail. And uh, she's the kind of dog that will just run forever. <sighs> she'll, she'll, like she'll die running. And I got stuck. So you see the cabin straight through there? To the trees here? I got stuck on this little rocky area. What's happening is underneath all the snow is a very slick layer of well, almost nothing. Ice and hard snow. So I'm getting stuck here. I'm getting stuck in a lot of places. Well, not stuck this bad. Oof. This tiny little here, hill here has caused me so many problems over the years. It's so weird, right? It's not, it doesn't look like the worst part of the trail. I was backing up to take another run at it and I backed into the snow. gonna try it. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get very far. Yeah. But we'll see. That was a dark. Russell, what are you thinking? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put Willow inside though. I'm sorry, little girl. I know you did your best. You did your best. You're a good doggy. You're a good girl. You're a good doggy. Yeah? Alright, you gotta go inside. If I get going there, here, if I go anywhere at all, I'm not gonna stop until I hit a high point. Liking this, there's still, I don't know, six, eight inches of snow there, maybe six inches. But that's far better than it was. Well, less, less, much less in some spots. Oh, much. well, I was gonna say much more in some spots. But, you know, that's not bad. We'll see how far we can get. I'll run the camera in the easy spots. So you can see. So we got to build up of snow on the tires, but it can only build up so much, right? This 
in essence is the problem. That's when your undercarriage gets caught up in the snow. When that happens, then the wheels just spin, your, your ATV just sits on the snow. And it doesn't matter what kind of four x four you have, if your undercarriage is sitting on the snow, you're done. You can only dig your way out. That might be it for the plow. I like what it's doing, but it's just a struggle, massive struggle. I wonder if if I could flat her, put something on the bottom of the tire so they don't fill up with snow, if that would help. Or if I did that, would it just, would the tires just float on top of the snow and not really do anything? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was working though, but here's where the tires are gonna sit for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna lean them up against that tree. Then I continue, I'm gonna go right out to the road if I can. <sighs> we'll see. go I'm not gonna make it and it's uh I thought if I did make it I'd just go to town shut up I thought if I did make it all the way out I'd just go to town today and grab some stuff uh, but it's getting it's actually getting kind of late now it's hard to tell how late it is 2:42. yeah I mean, by the, by the time I, you know, did what I needed to do in town and started back in, it would, you know, it'd be dark before I got to the cab, and I don't want to deal with this in the dark. 
I, uh, if I can get turned around, then I'll head back. Even getting, getting turned around is like, I mean, I can winch myself forward, but then I gotta, yeah. Oh, what a mess. God damn it. And this sucks, because chances are I'm not gonna make it to town tomorrow either. Unless I walk. We could snowshoe it out. I could snowshoe it out. <laughs> this is why I'm stuck. I'm into my knees here. back to Le Cabin. Oh, it's just that's uh, that's really going to annoy me. Tomorrow's supposed to be cold and sunny. Sunny all day again. And while I we like sunny days here. I don't know why I shift hands. Um, it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna change the trail at all. I don't I don't know what's gonna uh, it's one of those times where I wish I had a snowmobile snow machine not because I think a snow machine would be great on the trail, but because it would help, you know, pack down the trail. Um, if I could get around the corners and the ups and downs, and it's like, it's not a great trail for a snow machine, but it might be good for, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What do they do? Grooming. It's a, uh, might be good for grooming the trail. I haven't gotten any warmer out here. I'm going in. See how the dogs are doing. Oh, do you want to do a solar power update? I'll just use the GoPro since I got in here. Uh, we've made 0.4 kilowatt hours today, which has all been made since I cleaned off the panels. There was zero before that. Last three days, sunny all day long. Well, except for yesterday. Not quite sunny all day long. So the first day, 7.4 kilowatt hours. Second day, 7.4 kilowatt hours. Third day, a little bit cloudy in the morning, 7.3 kilowatt hours. That's fantastic for uh, January. Fantastic solar production. If I was using no power at all in the cabin, batteries would be full because it's only 20 kilowatt hour system. Uh, but that's pretty good. I was pretty happy because I knew today was going to be crappy, but then tomorrow's going to be sunny. Okay. Am I going to go in? Carbon snow and I'm wet. It's never a good combination. Tuesday. 
today. And once again, I'm trying to get out to the road. I don't like being stranded, man. So I'm, I, uh, I came out with the ATV again, and I'm, I'm about halfway to the road. This bridge, this is, the, this is where the old Bridge of Doom was down there. Uh, you can't really see, there's like remnants of wood down there and shit. And I'm thinking, this is it. I mean, look, look what I'm dealing with. I was able to get by the rough spots. I didn't winch even once. I was able to get by the rough, rough spots with the, uh, because I brought the shovel. Let me show you. This is where the actual ATV trail is. I drove off just because I knew I had to turn around. But if I got stuck somewhere, I just kind of dig out this, the middle of it, the middle of the trail, like this. Then worry about where the tires are going because they weren't the problem. It's, you know, it's the undercarriage, of course, still. So I just do that for a ways and that would get me a little bit further. But halfway, I'll take halfway. I'm standing right, the sun's right behind me, isn't it? A little backlit. <laughs> anyway, um, I brought, uh, I brought my snowshoes and a backpack. So this is going to be a fun journey. This is not the workout I had planned for today. Okay, I've got these big heavy boots on and then I'm going to have heavy snowshoes on and then on the way back in I'm going to have a backpack full of groceries. Oh, oy vey. Anyway, got to get to town. I need my, my milk, my eggs, and my stick of butter. How did that go? <laughs> I think it's an old Sesame Street. I found something, a stick of butter. Alright, I'm gonna get going. There's a sub in town with my name on it. Yeah, it's got idiot written on it. Nice, eh? Let's get going. hill I'm coming down is not great even in the best of uh, winter times we'll say most of the year it's not a problem in the winter time like if there's any snow on it or ice you want to give it a really good run right now it'd be I'd have no option to win but to winch up here and there's no good trees to attach to you have to have an extra line way over there to one of those maples over there and I did, I kept a uh, strap there for the longest time. But I forget what I did with it. It's not there now. So I'm dressed kind of poorly for winter right now. Underneath this jacket, I've only got a t-shirt on. But I sweat like crazy when I'm doing any physical stuff in the winter time. Uh, especially my back, with this backpack on, my back is gonna sweat like crazy. So, uh, yeah, this is how I dress. I actually have an extra fleece shirt in my backpack, just in case, or uh, in case I get cold, but more so for when I get to the car and um, uh, I want to take my coat off because it's wet and inside, and I want to wear something else.
These are muscles I don't use too often. <sighs> I'm not even five minutes from the ATV and my thighs are on fire. <sighs> Whew. Well, the weather promised us sunshine and we're getting sunshine. There's a few clouds this morning and I was a little bit worried, but no, clear skies. This will be four, four to five days that we've had nice, clear, sunny skies. Well, assuming nothing changes, it's only, uh, only 10 o'clock. I don't know what time it is, 10.30. Anyway, unless something comes up, I'm gonna put the camera down for the rest of this trip. It is beautiful though. Uh, last section of trail up to uh, where the cars, where I park my car. Several people use it to come in this way. And then we kind of break off on our own trails. And my neighbor Dan is one of the people that uses this part of the trail. And he likes to plow it right up to his cabin. He's got a different kind of plow. Three, four, four by fours and a triangle. I might try that sometime. I was really hoping he'd been in and he'd plowed the trail, but... Uh, Nope. So I was, I was hoping that I could take my snowshoes off a little bit back, ways back and just walk the rest of the way normally. Uh, no such luck. Damn it. Where are you, Dan? <sighs> well, we made it. God, I don't think I could have done the whole trip. You know, from the cabin right to the road and snowshoes. I don't think I could have done it. I'm glad I came halfway. Oh, now I got this issue to deal with. <laughs> a car covered in snow, and then I got to shovel my way out of here as well. Yeah. I could probably just blast my way out in my FJ, but uh, it's not chance it. I'm just going to shovel. I got I keep a shovel here on the trailer. Oh, feeling like a sub yet, guys? I am. Uh, one more thing before I head off. Surprisingly, I've only been at this for about 35 minutes. It feels like longer. Uh, I've been taking a break every couple minutes. Now, I got a whole new set of muscles that are complaining at me. Oh, right from my chest, through my biceps, through my back. My chest is bothering me the most, oddly enough. Thought I'd show you, there's no way the uh, FJ Cruiser could have made it over that. I would have bottomed out easily, especially when I hit the, uh, the, the bank there. But I'm almost done. Gonna get out here. And uh, our worst enemy is coming around the corner. <laughs> yep, our worst enemy. There he is. And I'm sitting up there all smug. Son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, that wasn't too bad. Well, I'm out of here. We'll see you at Subway. I got caught up talking to Tracy at Subway. I forgot to do any filming. But I didn't get my sub, my BMT. She's almost got it all memorized. <laughs> that must be difficult because small town, she knows everybody that comes in. She's not going to memorize everybody's sub just the way they like it, especially if they get different ones. And I, well, I don't get different ones. Anyway, uh, I'll be heading to the grocery store lately, lately, shortly. And it's going to be a real trick because I know that whatever I buy has got to go in that backpack. And I know I'm low on mayo. <laughs> Miracle whip. <coughs> so I got to buy a jar of that. And 
I'm gonna get some cans of ravioli. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna be painful for me. I need a I need eggs, a dozen eggs. I'm dreading the trip back in. The only thing, the only possible thing that's gonna make this not quite so bad is that I've already got the trail, you know, that trail that I trekked out. Maybe that'll make it a little easier going back in. But I doubt it. Whee! Whenever I grab a sub, I come to this parking lot across the street, pretty much across the street from the subway, because you can sit here and look out over the lake, Stoko Lake, and it's just kind of, it's kind of nice scenery. First today I came blazing in here, not realizing that it hadn't been plowed at all in here. There's like a few diehards came in here. There was a pickup truck parked over here when I came in. So I just kind of <laughs> put her in four wheel drive and kept going. But I want to show you something else here. Tracy told me that the official count was 13 inches of snow here in town, which is a lot to deal with all at once. It's like 13 inches in about 12 hours. That's about 33 centimeters of snow. I heard of a place last year that got six feet of snow, two meters, in a 24 hour period. And that's, I don't know how you deal with that much snow. It's had to shut a place down for days. Shut the whole area down. You just, that's such a huge volume of snow. I mean, take a look, take a look at this. This parking lot here beside the subway usually has, I don't know, there's like six or seven or maybe even eight parking spots there. Right now they can only get three because of all the snow here. Like, look at it all. So I guess this is from the whole, you know, gas station and everything. But it's just, it's just sitting here. And Tracy said they, they gotta wait for a company to come and take it away, and which is under their own on their own dime. The city is not gonna take care of that. And they're down to three three spots. So, 13 inches of snow. I'm gonna get cold out here. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. So this is what I've, uh, <laughs> so this is what I've uh, committed to carrying in. Take a good look. What it's gonna take to keep me for, well, for what I have, for all the food I have in the cabin, I could easily go for a couple of weeks. Uh, the only thing I'm not taking in all of is the tissues. I'm only going to take in one box. That's like the only thing I could just leave in the in the car. It doesn't really matter. Um, low on tissues. So yeah, take a good look. There it is. Oh, <laughs> this whole trip just for that. And a tasty sub too. There, I'm going to stick it all in my backpack right now. See how much I can get in there. Ah, I'm not gonna film it. <laughs> All right, here we go. One second here. Some farm equipment over there making some noise. Oh my god. <laughs> Russell, you idiot. Uh, I got everything in except the box of tissues. Holy crap. Oh, Russell. Oh. Oh. oh, you idiot. What were you thinking? Oh, man. Jesus. There's the straps. Pull this tight. I wasn't gonna bring the, the bottom portion, you can detach it. But the bottom portion is where the, the waist strap is. And I can't find the... You should be able to pull that tight on that side. Anyway, it's, it's where I ended up putting all my cans and stuff and my mayo, my Miracle Whip. Oh, oh boy, this is not good. Sun's getting real low too. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, I, I bought a uh, pack of Advil to 
And I, I took my extra strength Advil just to see if I could relax my muscles a little bit. Give me a little relief from that. Um, just the, the aching as well as uh, hopefully I don't pull a muscle. You know, it's gonna, it helps relax the muscles a little bit. Anyway, let's get going. Before I, do, <laughs> before I just decide to stay in the car overnight. Ah, I can't do that. The dogs are at the cabin. Okay, let's go, Russell. See this plant here with the fuzzies on it? Apparently that's a type of poison ivy. I'd have never known that. Rick, uh, Dan's brother, pointed out to me. Uh, anyway, we're at the last hill here before. Can you see the ATV up there? The last hill. So I want to say um, having the trail out has definitely helped coming back in. I don't think I... Uh, took as many breaks on the way in as I did on the way out. So that's a good thing. I'm also wondering, you know, this trail of footsteps that I've made, snowshoe steps that I've made, I wonder if that'll help if I try and take the ATV out now. I've also seen lots of deer tracks. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm very glad that I, I'm glad that I brought the ATV halfway. I wonder, uh, I'd be a real bitch. I was thinking about this a few minutes ago. What if I pulled a muscle while I was on the trail in? I'd be in hell of a shape, wouldn't I? Or uh, even if I was in the cabin, I broke my leg or something. Couldn't ride the ATV out. Or if one of the dogs got injured. <laughs> Not to scare you or, you know, whatever. It's, try not to think of things like this. I mean, we plan for the worst and do what we can. It's just kind of life, right? You can break your leg, walk up the front steps of your home. Of course, it's not as hard to get an ambulance to your home. Oh. <laughs> I'm probably getting up this hill here. It's slippery. Still nice and sunny. Oh. Come on, Russell. There's more of that deer tracks coming through there. <laughs> I'm gonna get up this fucking hill. <laughs> For sure, somebody's gonna say in the comments, why don't you just use a sled, Russell? Just pull a sled behind you. Well, I've pulled a sled before, and I'm not gonna say that what I'm doing is any better than pulling a sled. But it can actually be worse. I'm pulling a sled can actually be worse through heavy, deep snow. You can actually, it can actually take more work than just carrying the weight on your back. It can be. I'm not going to say it's. I'm right in this case. <laughs> just get this, <laughs> or whatever. But I'm just saying it's not. Uh, come on. That's not always the best solution. Maybe if the dogs help me, but I don't want to bring the dogs through this deep snow either. Certainly Junebug would not have enjoyed it. And Willow, as I said yesterday, she'll run till she's dead, you know. Oh, that's a sight for sore eyes. <sighs> Daddy's home. I'm not going to film any of my journey in unless something happens because too tired running back and forth the camera it takes a lot out of you I've had enough of running around it sure is beautiful though Whew. all right we'll see you at the cabin I knew I'd have trouble with this hill. That's why I brought the camera out. But it's the, uh, shouldn't have any trouble with the rest of the trail. Just small hills, nothing as bad as this one. I often have trouble on this one in the winter.
Well, we made it. <sighs> kind of a weird angle, Russell. <laughs> Can you see me? Uh, it took about an hour and 20 minutes, which is uh, quite good, I think, given that I, I walked half the way uh, on snowshoes through deep snow. <laughs> uh, hundred and, sorry. Uh, sorry, an hour and 20 minutes? I was just thinking of the movie 127 Hours, and I <laughs> crossed in my brain. Anyway, I see that we made 7.4 kilowatt hours. <laughs> So four out of five days we've had nice sun and three of those days we hit 7.4 kilowatt hours and one of those days we hit 7.3 kilowatt hours. But it's still in bulk mode, which means it never got to float. Float mode meaning it's uh, topped out. It filled up the 20 kilowatt hours and said, okay, you've had enough. But no, it's gotta be close though. Gosh, it's gotta be close. <sighs> anyway, I am freaking beat. I put everything away, brought the groceries in. <laughs> brought all the groceries in, put them on the counter and, said, and looked at it and said, that's hardly anything, Russell. <laughs> Why was it so heavy? Uh, uh, none of the eggs broke. You know what? I forgot to check the eggs. Uh, hopefully none of the eggs broke and hopefully none of them froze. <laughs> uh, so problems are so different in the wintertime. In the summertime, I worry about food, you know, you buy chicken. You don't want to you know, you buy chicken, it's 30 Celsius, and it, it takes like an hour to get here from the grocery store. And they go, yeah. So sometimes we bring a cooler and put some ice in it. Or sometimes I'll, I'll buy, I'll just buy a bag of mixed vegetables, you know, frozen mixed vegetables, and put that with the chicken. <laughs> That'll keep it cool enough. Anyway, in the wintertime, you know, you don't want your eggs to freeze. Although I don't know what happens if they do freeze. Are they bad then? I don't know. Anyway, gorgeous day. Not a breath of wind. The only thing I hear is willow and my inverter humming. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go inside and just kind of like collapse somewhere. I've had a day. It's uh, just really nice right now. Really nice. 4.23 p.m. left just after breakfast <laughs> that's it when you live like this it's like you you want to take a trip to town it's all day that's an all-day thing you're not doing much else all right all right silly dogs I get here and they come rushing outside and look around and then I, I make like 10 trips in and out you know with groceries or whatever else and you know after they've been outside like a minute they want right back in if I'm coming in they want right back in I'm like you've been inside all day Stay out for a little while, roam around, see the sights. The willow's right here, just in case an adventure breaks out. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in and chill. That'll be it for today. Maybe we'll get a good star lapse. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, but maybe we'll get a good star lapse before the weather changes. So it's uh, next day. I wasn't going to do anything today, <sighs> but the cold for really mild temperatures, like plus four, over freezing, plus three or four Celsius. And then it's and it's going to rain. Uh, not very much rain, but a little bit of rain. And then it's supposed to freeze again really quickly tonight. And then several days of really cold temperatures, really cold. And I thought, you know what? If I don't do this trail now, uh, you know. It rains and this gets all slushy and then it freezes, that's it, I'm done. Uh, I will really be stranded in, in at the cabin for good. And uh, you know, it comes to bringing things like dog food. Like I walk out, but bringing things like dog food or you know, whatever else, heavy stuff, gonna be really difficult. Anyway, I haven't filmed any of this trip so far because I'm, I'm in a hurry, I'm in a rush. It's uh, supposed to start raining at noon and I've already feel this drizzle happening. Uh, what I've done here. So this is what I'm looking at. I, I'm I'm not too far from from the uh, the path, and I know my neighbor Dan contacted contacted me yesterday or this morning and said he blazed a trail into his cabin, so I don't have to go too much farther to meet up with his trail. Uh, so 
so far, here's what I'm doing. And it doesn't look too bad. I was just gonna run it on the ATV and I thought, well, let's drag something. So, oh, it's stuck under the wheel. Hold on a sec. So, I got the chain on the ATV and I got a two by, or sorry, four by four in the middle there. And I'm dragging the slack as well from the chain. And that seems to be doing okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. Um, there's still a lot of snow here, but at least it's flattened out. I shouldn't bottom out on the way back in. Anyway, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. As I said, I'm almost at Dan's trail. I'm exhausted. I'm just taking a minute to, uh, to uh, catch my breath, try and catch my breath. Because I'm like going like six feet here, six feet. And I stop and sometimes I can just back up and barrel through another six feet. But then, God damn, some farm over there is making a lot of racket. But then, uh, you know, it's just all over again. Then I can shovel or I can winch if, I, if there's a tree nearby. By the way, here's a hand, handy tip. If you're using your winch a lot, don't spool it up every time. Just leave the slack somewhere handy. Save you a lot of time. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I gotta get this done. I don't know what time it is, but I've been out here a long time already. Oh, why can't I catch my breath? What do you say, Snow Dog? Yeah. Coming into the cabin wasn't nearly as bad as going out. I saw the winch up three hills, and I knew I would. There's always those three bad hills. Uh, oh, and I'm still soaking wet, and uh, Willow did great. I needn't have worried about Willow at all. I, she, there's plenty of time for her to rest. <laughs> I tell you what, like walking up a steep hill in in deep snow is like hard enough. Anytime. But like pulling a winch cable that sort of sometimes doesn't want to come with you. <laughs> That's so tiring. Anyway, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to cover up the ATV and I'm going to go in inside and I'm going to lie down for probably... Well, I'm going to change my clothes and then I'm going to lie down for the rest of the day. I'm done. That's it for me. I'm, I'm, ch I'm, I'm clocking out. <sighs> uh, just before I go in, take a look. Like the snow has already started to uh, change from soft, fluffy to packing snow, is what I'd call it. And uh, look at my ATV. Like, and this this spot here, this is mostly from snow getting kicked up by the tires. It comes up here, it melts from the engine heat, and then it freezes once I get going again. And it's like, uh, so hard. What a mess. Anyway, this thing did its job. Somewhere under there, there's a 4x4. I should keep that around. Oh, I'm so tired. Well, true to weather reports, I did get up to 4 Celsius yesterday, just shy of 40 Fahrenheit. And I was able, able to actually fill up some of my water containers just from the uh, the melting snow and ice that was coming off the roof. Just a dribble coming off, but 
Um, I'll go over there yeah, you know, like once every couple of hours and check the bucket and <laughs> bring it inside. Uh, but what I want to do today, and I'm not doing much today. I really just need a day of rest now. Uh, but what I'd like to do is just check the consistency of the snow because we got that thaw. I'm not sure if it actually rained much other than that drizzle I saw in the morning. But we did get that thaw so that snow kind of got wet and heavy. And then the temperature dropped like a rock last night. It went down to minus 22 Celsius around uh, minus, what the heck is that? <laughs> minus 8 Fahrenheit. And right now we're sitting at about minus 17-ish. Uh, Celsius right around zero uh, Fahrenheit so it's pretty cold right now but what I want to see is the consistency of the trail I'm just gonna ride the ATV down the trail a little bit and just see what it's done what should have happened is now that I've kind of leveled it out I've kind of compacted the trail and leveled it out a little bit um, it thawed a little bit it froze so it should make a nice hard base for me to ride on he says hopefully <laughs> he says with much optimism yes we're that's what we're hoping for anyway go, let's go check it out uh, you know sometimes it does that and the snow is so hard you can you can walk right on top of it but i haven't seen yet actually let's try it right now come come with me in a mission of will this work have you zoomed out here is it yeah not even close uh. <laughs> Well, this sucks. Uh, this is, does not point to good things for my trail, obviously. <laughs> Half my shit is still wet from yesterday. My mitts, my those black gloves I was wearing, soaking wet. And my boots are still wet, so I'm wearing my, my hunting boots, which aren't the greatest out here. Anyway, let's go try the trail, I guess. I don't know. It's gonna suck. Uh, so my first observation is anywhere I've stepped, Anywhere the snow is compacted down because I've been walking, hard as a rock. Really hard. That's good. Good omen. Good omen. As long as I stay in the in the tracks that I've made, perfect. It's beautiful driving. It's uh, couldn't get any better. You go off the off the trail, like in the middle. In the middle, I go down maybe six inches. On the side, I go down a lot more, which means I'm gonna have fun turning around out here. But otherwise, I mean, it couldn't be better. Well, it could be a lot better, but you know what I mean. And it's really freaking cold. My hands are freezing. I'm, I'm gonna head back to the cabin now. Uh, this also makes turning around uh, a bit of a challenge. Oh well. Anyway, let's get back. <laughs> Willow's having no problems on the trail. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. 
despite that short little journey on the ATV, my fingers are frozen when I got back. I had to step into the cabin a few minutes and warm up. Uh, today would be a great day to go to town. I'll tell you what, uh, the trail is just excellent condition. But there's nothing I really need in town right now, so I'm not going to bother. I've certainly gone out in days like this where it was nice and cold in the morning and I roared out to town, no problem getting to my car. But then it warmed up enough that the trail was really slushy on the way back in. I was all over the place and I had a lot of difficulty. I won't have that problem today because it's it's not going to warm up that much. It's going to be cold all day. And I think today is just going to be one of those days where uh, we just sit inside, warm up, listen to some tunes and uh, watch the scenery flow past. <laughs> so let's see, what do we got here? Um, That's the one. <laughs> 